Welcome to another episode of Delivery Dude. I just got my first order. If you heard that, let's go see what it is. So that first one is for Upper Crust Pizza. I rejected it because I generally do not appreciate that restaurant. They take too long to put their food out. So I just reject it and I'll take a hit on my ratings, which is totally fine with me. I make more money when I accept restaurants that are good and they get their food delivered fast and they actually care for their customers. So uh, rejected first one. So now uh, I'm just gonna maybe drive over to a hot spot and see what I can pick up from there. All right, so I just got one for Yard House. So when I get there, we'll do the look of the restaurant, the customer service and the smells, and I'll do a scale out of one of 10, and I'll let you know how the uh, how it turns out. And then maybe if uh, it rates high enough, uh, I'll go there at the end of my shift or the next day and I'll do a I'll order some food and see how that works out and that then you'll get my taste rating but I only pick one restaurant uh, not per episode but I only pick one restaurant every once in a while with my grow pub so they have to they have to be good enough so if I do a shift of grow pub where I don't feel like the restaurants are worth my time going to then uh, of course I'm not going to go to them however if they have uh, at least if they have good customer service and good smelling food. So I'm willing to look past the looks of the restaurant, which there really isn't that many bad restaurants. So let's uh, head over to Yard House. Now, if you're watching this video and you have, uh, you have been to the Yard House, which would be all for my Southern California viewers, or maybe a select few, uh, out in the, out a little bit farther in Southern California, um, feel free to drop a comment below tell me how you felt about them and uh, you know uh, if uh, you want to find out for yourself after my review then you're of course you're more than welcome to go there and try some of their food We have arrived at the yard house. I'm gonna pick this up and I'll get back to you with my smell, customer service, and looks ratings. They gave me another order for a restaurant right next to it, which is very convenient. It's called uh, Lujo Libre Tacos. Um, so, but first, my my experience with yard house customer service. It was what you expect of customer service. I mean, they didn't go jump through loops and stuff, which I don't expect. You know. But they told me it'd be done in a couple minutes, and it was done in a couple minutes. And then uh, I will like to comment on their uh, their entrance. Um, it has a nice area, big area for a lot of uh, if you need to wait. Uh, I do enjoy that. There's uh, a lot of seating out there, so you're not left standing, which can be kind of awkward sometimes. Um, other than that, uh, the smell. Unfortunately, I can't smell. I mean, it smells good, um, but uh, I'd probably say maybe six out of 10, and that's not anything against Yard House, just uh, customer service. I'm gonna say eight out of 10, it was nice. Uh, they would offer me a drink. Uh, now, looks. Uh, Yard House looks good. Uh, definitely a restaurant that I would uh, want to try out and see if their food lives up to the looks and the sm looks in the customer service. So uh, definitely a restaurant I want to try out. Uh, but let's see what else the night has to give us. So I got a uh, I got an add-on order for Lucha Libre uh, tacos, um, and I wouldn't pick that up because it was right next to the Yard House. Um, that one. Uh, customer service, uh, again, 8 out of 10, uh, maybe 8.5, 8 point, in between 8.1 and 8.5. Uh, they had, uh, 
they were friendly. Walked in and they uh, like, hey, right on time. That's what I'm about. <laughs> uh, they were good though. Uh, the smell, again, I couldn't really smell anything. Um, I would like, I like when I step into a restaurant and I can smell the food. That, that, that was what locks me in if I want to go there. Um, and then of course, uh, the looks, it was just like, uh, you know, uh, it, it was cool. It had, uh, the Lucha Libre, uh, articles all over the wall, you know, the masks, the wrestling stuff. Uh, it was cool. It was themed well. I enjoyed that theme. Uh, I don't think I would, uh, let me rephrase that. I don't. I think I would go to Yard House before I went to Lucha Libre, um, but I definitely would like to try Lucha Libre out, um, and I encourage everybody else to try it out too if you haven't. Um, you can't just take my word for it, uh, but go ahead and, you know, if you listen to my ratings on these places, go ahead and give try it out, and then, you know, in the comment area, tell me tell me what you think of it, and uh, see, see what we agree and disagree on, so uh, I'll put that on my list though. And uh, we're gonna go drop these orders off. We're back. We got our next delivery. It's a uh, it's a chains firehouse subs. Um, I'm not going to rate them, but I will say their sandwiches are pretty good. Uh, they do uh, the process they go through for making their sandwich is different from what I've any other sandwich like Subway or Jersey Mike's I've seen. They uh, they steam their meat. Right, and it's all you know. Of course, it's, it's fresh cut. They have someone slicing in the back, um, so you know it's fresh meat. You know, right off the ham. Uh, they steam it, and that is actually that's not too bad. It's really good. All right, we're making our way to Big Bob's Pizza. Let's see what Big Bob has to offer us. And you know. There's been a, I've been getting a surplus of pizza orders. I'm always like, why the fuck is there so much pizza going on right now? And it didn't hit me. My wife told me why there's so many pizza orders. It's National Pizza Month. <laughs> so that is why there's all these pizza orders. Head out to Big Bob's and get us some pizza. get the customer some pizza and then uh let's we'll rate big bobs i don't think big, Bob, big, big bobs any chain it's a nice little probably a small owned business let's see what these small owned business got Alright, so Big Bob, customer service, like I said, pretty good. Uh, i give it maybe 8 out of 10. Uh, I assume I was talking to Big Bob, he was nice. Uh, he went over the order with me, made sure everything was in there. I really appreciate that. Um, the smell, smell like a pizza shop, right? You know, it's a good piece of smell. Seven out of ten. Uh, like I said, Domino's. It had a Domino's feel. However, I think if I had to choose, I'd probably go with Big Bob because you know I've had Domino's millions of times before, so I want to try something else. Um, I'll put that on my list to try. Uh, smell. I went over the smell and the look of it. It was. Again, the look was like a Domino's chain. I'll probably give it a six out of ten on the look, but that's not going to discourage me from eating there. So uh, overall, pretty.
pretty good, so we'll see how it fares by the end of the night. All right, so that was the uh, that was the last delivery of the night. I'm about to sign off, but before we do, let's go over what we saw. So we started out at Yard House, and we went to um, uh, Lucha Libre Tacos, which was pretty good. Then they had. Uh, then we went next. Went to Firehouse Subs. That was all right. And then we hit up some uh, some Big Bobs best pizza so out of those I would probably say if I had to go anywhere I'd probably rule for Yard House so uh, be look, looking forward to our food review on Yard House and uh, Delivery Dude will see you next time on his next episode